It's a beautiful little boy, little girl. It's your son or daughter, but not yours to kill. God does not give you permission to murder your children. And that's what abortion is. Abortion was murder prior to 1973. It was murder prior to Roe v. Wade. And it's still murder today. We don't change reality by changing the laws. We don't change reality by popular vote or by packing the U.S. Supreme Court with pro-life or pro-abortion justices. It is what it is. If you take a look at that picture, that's what abortion is and what it does to little children. It's not a pretty picture, is it? But it is what it is, cold-blooded, premeditated murder under a color of law, under a pretense of medicine and choice. But abortion is a poor choice for you. It's no choice for your baby. Baby wants to live. Baby don't want to die. And baby shouldn't have to suffer or die for your because you're in a tough spot, because you don't want your child anymore. It's a beautiful little boy or little girl. God made him on purpose for his purposes. And he commands, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill. It's not complicated. Every creature knows to protect their young. Even the poor wren, the most diminutive of birds, will fight against the owl to protect her young. To pay a total stranger money to rip the arms and legs off your poor little helpless son or daughter is the ultimate act of betrayal and selfishness. You'll never know how beautiful that child is. You'll never know what that child would have grown up to be if you go in there. Your situation isn't so bad that baby has to die today. Your situation will change. But you can't bring baby back to life once it's dead. Once they rip the arms and legs off of your poor little son or daughter and throw it in the garbage can, you'll be a murderer forever. And every morning when you look in the mirror, you'll be looking into the eyes of a murderer. You'll have the heart of a murderer, the conscience of a murderer, the guilt of a murderer. And one day you'll stand before Almighty God and suffer the judgment of a murderer. You can't murder a cow or a dog or a cat. You can only murder someone who's innocent, a person who's innocent. And there's nobody more innocent than your preborn child. He's the only innocent thing about you. Your baby do doesn't deserve to die, doesn't want to die. And your baby shouldn't have to suffer or die for your selfish pleasure or convenience. Your situation isn't so bad that baby has to die today. Your situation will change. But you can't bring baby back to life once it's dead. You can't bring baby back to life once they rip the arms and legs off your poor little child. You can't unaboard a baby. What could bring you to a place where you would pay a total stranger money to rip the arms and legs off your poor little helpless child. What could bring you to that low estate? Change your mind while there's still time, folks. God's got a plan and a purpose for your life and for the life of your unborn baby. You'll never know what that purpose is if you go in there. You'll never know what that child would have grown up to be. The only thing you know for sure is baby's dead by your hand. You don't need a fancy truck. You can do something simple. You can drive something simple. God will provide for your needs as he does for all the creatures of the earth. He'll provide for your needs too. If you can't love a little baby, how can you love each other? How can you love yourself if you can't love your own flesh and blood? What kind of love could you have for one another if you can't love your own flesh and blood, your own child? Your boyfriend will dump you just as soon as the baby's dead. 
You can't build a relationship on murder. It's the ultimate act of selfishness and betrayal to kill a child. There's no need for it. There's some people that can help you. There's free help for you. There's a, a place just down the street that's willing to help you. Call women's choices. But you got to be willing to do the right thing. It don't look like you really need help. It looks like you need to repent. Repent of your baby killing ways. God commands, thou shalt not kill. And one day you'll stand before him with the innocent blood of this child on your hands. I hope not. But if you do, the baby won't be dead. It'll live on in your heart and your mind forever. Every morning when you wake up, you'll remember that you killed your child. You'll dream about it at night. Every time you see somebody else's child, you'll remember what you did to your own. Every Father's Day, every Mother's Day, you'll realize that you killed your child. I know! I see lots of women that have killed their children re regret it. But they can't unabort a child. They can't bring their child back to life. But you can turn around right now and this is the time to do it. not the right thing to do folks it's not right to kill a little child God commands thou shall not murder it's written on your heart it's the most unnatural thing you could do is take your child to a child molester and p pay him money to molest your child to death it's the most unnatural thing to do your baby's not a cigarette butt that you discard and throw away and crush underfoot when you don't want it anymore. It's a human being, it's a little person. And a person is a person no matter how small. I said a person is a person no matter how small. Red, yellow, black, or white, it makes no never mind. God made your child on purpose for his purposes and he commands thou shall not murder. You may have made a terrible mistake, but God doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't make blunders. You're not going to fix anything by killing your child. All you're going to do is dig yourself in deeper. Change your mind while there's still time, folks. Change your mind while there's still time. You can drive out of here. Your baby wants to live. You can't love a little baby, you can't love each other, you can't love anybody if you can't love your own flesh and blood, if you can't love your own son or daughter. And the loving thing to do is to, is to turn around and leave this place. You'll never know what God's plan and purpose is for your life if you walk in there. You'll never know what your child would have grown up to be. I see plenty of women regret having abortions, plenty of couples. I see very few people regret having a child, raising their child. In your old age, that's what means, that's what life is about, is your children. That's what's meaningful in life. Do the right thing. Love your baby, get married. Leave this place. If you don't do it now, folks, when will you do it? Today you're parents of an unborn child. If you go in there and kill your child, you'll be murderers of an unborn child. You've murdered your own flesh and blood. 
It's an easy choice, folks. Abortion's not the easy way out. You have to live with a dirty conscience all your life. Your baby wants to live, folks. That's one thing for sure. You may not want your child to live, but your baby wants to live. And your baby sh deserves better than abortion. Your baby doesn't deserve to die. Just because you made a mistake, just because things ain't right between you, doesn't mean you can't work it out and let your baby live. It's a beautiful little boy or girl, your son or daughter. If you go in there, you'll never know how beautiful that child is. It's an easy decision, folks. Put, it, put your vehicle in reverse and drive on out of here. Put your truck in reverse and drive on out of here, folks. It's that simple. You don't have to keep an appointment with death. See what a baby looks like? Your baby right now at eight weeks has got arms, legs, fingers, and toes, its own brain waves, its own blood type, its own DNA. It's a little boy, it's a little girl, and it's certainly your son or daughter, but not yours to kill. God commands Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill. This is what baby looks like at eight weeks of pregnancy, folks. Turn it around, Randy. And that's what baby looks like after an abortion. It's a no-brainer. Your character will change going in there, folks. Your character is on the line right now. Are you going to be honorable parents, or are you going to be murderers, killers? Once a mother kills her child, she becomes a murderer indeed. She has the heart of a murderer, the mind of a murderer, the conscience of a murderer, the guilt of a murderer, and one day she stands before Almighty God with the innocent blood of her child on her hands and suffers the judgment of a murderer and cast into hell throughout eternity. It's not worth it, folks. You got a lot at stake here. You're at a crossroads. The valley of decision. Your situation isn't so bad that baby has to die. Your situation will change, but you can't bring baby back to life once it's dead. You can't unaboard a baby. Your situation isn't so bad that baby has to die. The very serious thing to take the life of a helpless, innocent child. Poor choice, folks. The bad choice. You're leading your daughter into sin. Paying a total stranger money to rip the arms and legs off your poor little helpless son or daughter. Shame on you. God commands, thou shall not kill. And the blood of these innocent children is upon your head, folks. Shame on you. One day you stand before Almighty God with the innocent blood of these children on your hands. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill.